today to see my husband BM3 Duncan uh, on his first deployment. Life for me in the next seven to nine, ten months is going to be just keep busy and get a routine going. Just count down the days every day, knock a day off that calendar. Very proud. I'm incredibly proud of him. He's definitely come a long way from where we were back in Michigan. We're here to say goodbye to our son, our oldest son who's leaving um, unknown, undisclosed location. It is his first deployment. He said he's looking forward to it. I think um, we're more nervous for him than he is. He's excited. Just prayers, a lot of prayers. These are our children, our husbands, our family, who are just keeping us very safe. And it's hard to let go of a piece of your heart, but they're doing the right thing. We are here to support my nephew. He's an ensign in the Navy and this is his first ship. And we feel like the USS Gonzales is, is a real welcoming place, like a big family. There's always like a little bittersweet because he's really excited about being on the ship and starting out. He studied and he was so proud of his part in the Navy. So I'm happy for him that he has a place, but it's very difficult. This is her first deployment, our first deployment. Just here to support her. She's very proud to do so, but I told her that I don't want her going outside the gate, <laughs> just in case. But I know that the CEO, he's very content that they're gonna be safe, and that means a lot to me, so. I'm content right now, but I know once they start moving, then I'll the waterworks will probably hit, and I'll probably start crying.
more homecoming after the break.